So here's the Panacast. This is a panorama video? Yes, it's a 4K, 180 degree horizontal by 54 degree vertical field of view camera that in five milliseconds or less takes an image, stitches it together, renders it on a virtual cylinder, and then outputs it on a USB cable. So everything is processed inside? Everything's done on there. There's nine processors in this camera. Nine? Yes. So you have three miniature cameras. Uh, like image a, engine something? Image, you have the CCDs in the image processor. So that's six. Then we have an FPGA. And then we have a uh, Realtek audio microphone, or a Realtek audio chip that's capturing uh, audio. And then a USB system on chip. So nine processors in there. And it's doing all the computations. Very small PCB? Very small, yeah. And uh, do you make an SOC for this? We, we do. We have an SOC. We, we you use an SOC that's... Uh, on the USB. Yeah, for the USB output. And, uh, is this shipping? It is. This, this camera is available. How much it costs? It sells $995 US. $995? Yes. What's the main uh, usage? The main usage for this camera right here is for huddle rooms, collaboration rooms, conference rooms that enterprise are doing. They're basically looking at the standpoint of you buy this and some, some technology around it, you have a very high functioning, very high resolution video conferencing room for a couple of grand versus 50 to 60 grand of other types of systems. So you can deploy them on large numbers. It works with Skype, Zoom, WebEx, GoToMeeting, any of the programs that can accept the USB camera. Since when do you do this? What's that? Since when do you launch this? So, uh, what's that? You're launching now? We've already launched. You launched already? September. September? Yeah. Do you have a... I mean, this looks awesome. How about uh, making it a whole circle? You can having 360. That. Well, our technology there, we can stitch together any number of uh, cameras, and we can render them in any fashion necessary. So, absolutely, we can do real-time 360, full 360 degree uh, capture. I mean, 4K plus 4K. 4K plus 4K, yes. Well, it's 4K, it's um, it's half high 4K, right? The output is 380, 40 by 1080. So across two screens, pixel for pixel, it's 4K. Right, that's awesome. So when do you get the idea to do this? I think it comes from a lot of different things. So I come from Cisco, where I was one of the developers of Cisco Telepresence. This is the number one most advanced Yeah. President using it, right? Yes. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. But a lot of people use Cisco Telepresence. But and it's a great product, but it's so expensive and it takes over the whole room that people don't necessarily want to buy dozens of them. But this camera can replicate that in smaller rooms at a lower price point. And so people are basically adding those into all their rooms before where they didn't think video conferencing was possible. And then we have people that have spent time in the chip industry, that they know how to process, they know how to do in, uh, rendering. And then we actually have some optical engineers who understand what it takes to actually make something look good electronically. It's a uh, really good merging going on here. There's some uh, automatic merging of all these three, and it's real time. And, uh, all right, so available worldwide? Available worldwide. Right. Go to getpanacast.com, we're all TIA systems, and go ahead and take a look at the Panacast too.